Hi, welcome back to another Adobe Illustrator CS6 lesson. Uh, today we're going to talk about paths. Now paths have the real power illustrated along with brushes because this is a drawing application after all. So this is what you really want to learn how to use. When, once you master paths and the brush tools, you, you'll have the, the heart of Illustrator in your hand. The power is there. Now also another thing, because a lot of the Adobe tools are, are similar, like if you master paths here, you'll learn it. You'll have it. Um, you'll have it down in the other in the other application programs also. But today let's concentrate on paths and let's get started. Okay, here's an overview of what we'll be going through, and I'll be checking these off as I go along because uh, we're going to be moving pretty fast today. Uh, so I can get all of this in. Uh, most of your path tools are in this section here. Um, the line segment tool is here so if I just click it uh, option uh, box will come up I don't want to do that right now because I don't have anything specific you know that I want to do so with the line segment tool I'll just click and drag you know, to create I can hold down the shift key to create a perfect horizontal or vertical line and that's pretty much it with the uh, line segment tool so again, uh, I, I, I click there, but I can double click anything you see, to, I can bring up the options. So also, as you can see, there's a little tri uh, triangle in the corner. And if you remember, anything that has that has other tools. So we've talked about uh, the bottom three tools. So let's look at the arc tool. And here are the selections, option menus for that. Um, so you can change the axis, um, what base is going to be convex, convex. So we've talked about that a little bit too. So let's just cancel this. And again, you just pull and drag uh, to create your arc. And that's pretty much it with the arc tool. Okay. So let me just check those off. Arc tool. Now we're going to get to the tool that we'll be talking about most here, and that is the pen tool. Okay, so I want to go to a layer. Uh, create a grid and the way you get the grid is view and uh, since the grid is showing it's saying high grid um, but right now so I can hide it grid and show grid okay so uh, let me go here change this to black and now we have a stroke so if I'm using the pen tool you know I can freestyle it and just make these all you want and come back and try to um, modify them uh, but what I want to do is to have some control over over it so if I hold down if I pull here whoops see that's an open path so let me deselect and using this so with the direction that I pull is the length that my curve will be so we'll go in the same direction. So since I kind of have this here, I want these to match. You know, so I can get it pretty perfect. Now right now I'm still freestyling, but if I want a perfect, I want this to be perfectly straight when I drag the handles, I'll just hold down the shift key. And now, you know, I have this exactly the way I want it. Okay. Now, let me show you how to make to change the direction. So now I'm holding down the shift key. Make it pulling my handles perfectly straight. Going over here. So now I want to make an arch instead of a curve. So what I can do is hover over here until I see an open triangle. And that means that now it's a convert point. So when I do that, uh, but it's not kind of kind of doing what I want. So what I like to do is just hold down the option key. So now it goes to a convert to point. And that'll happen if you hit too soon, which is what I did. So you just dismiss that dialog box. Okay, so I have convert to point. So now I can pull that handle up and put it right over the handle that I want. So now 
when I release the Option key, it converts back to the Pen tool. And I can hold down the Shift key again and pull. And so now it's going in the direction that I want. So now I can create an arch. So again, that last handle determines the direction your curve is going to be in. So I'm going to hold down the Option key again, have my Convert tool. I'm going to pull. Pull that right there. Convert back to the Pen tool. And now I have an arch. Okay, so uh, now while we're on the convert tool, uh, let me show you because you, there's different ways to modify this now. Again, I have smart guides on so I can see uh, the anchor when I go. So the smart guide will show me where anchor point is. So here's one right there. And you can see these different anchor points here. So now when I go to the convert to anchor tool, I can manipulate all of these separately. Or I can click on a point and do it that way. Or I can just click to make it a sharp point. So those were smooth points and now we've seen our first uh, sharp point or corner point as you, as, as you may. Now also I can select with the direct selection tool here. And convert to points here. So I already have this is a convert to smooth, and this is convert to to corner. So since I already have a smooth point, I want to convert this to corner, and you can see that's that's a corner point here. Now corner points have no handles, so that's a clue for if it's corner corner point or not, because sometimes it may be deceptive. You may not know. Now also with the direct selection tool, you have flexibility to move your points all over the place, which you've seen me do. Okay, so you can manipulate the path in any way that you desire. Okay, so let's go back, get rid of this. Let's see how on track I am. I am. Okay. So now we're still using the pen tool for the most part. So I'm going to check that off. Oops. Get my brush selected. Okay, pen tool. Show you how to make curves. Show you how to convert your points. And uh, let me show you how to add and remove points. So get the pen tool again. Just pulling and dragging, making some points. Make this a little bit larger. Okay. Now, uh, now most of the points are where the arcs are, as you can see here. So I'm going to add some points in between the arc. So I'll go here to add anchor point, and I start adding. Now you can see handles are added on when I make a smooth point. So I can just add handles, just add points with handles. And you see some of them larger, depends on what, where you are in the curve. Uh, now, what if you have uh, combined? So let me just go to this rectangle tool here. And first, let me show you what happens with the rectangle when I add a point. So these are corner points because they're on the path between two uh, corner points. Just like the smooth ones come between, smooth points come between two smooth anchor points on a curve. Now, let me show you what happens when they're combined on one path. So curve, 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 curve. Now I'm going to hold down the shift key. It helps if I don't drag. Okay, so now let me just touch this up a little bit because some of these are not exactly corner points. So that's a corner point now. That's a kind of point now, and that's because I was dragging a little bit. Okay, so now we can see some specific 
uh, straight paths and a smooth curving path. Okay, so now when I add an anchor point to the smooth path, you see the smooth path has the handles, but when I add it to the corner points, to the path that's connected by two corner points, then that's all I'm going to get is a corner point. So even though it's on one path, the tool is intelligent enough to know uh, what's a corner point, when it's between two corner points or two smooth points. Okay, now also deleting and removing points. You can just touch touch the anchor points where they are. And again, the smart guys help a lot. And I can also manipulate and take out a whole, whole lot more points and completely change uh, the shape of my path. Okay, so we have done adding and removing points. So now let's go to align points. So when I click here, um, I can see where the points are, or again, with the smart guys, it tells you where the points are. So I'm gonna use my direct selection tool, and I wanna make clear what I'm doing. So I'm gonna move some points to a lower layer, uh, lower level, not layer, not really dealing with layers right now. Okay, so I'm gonna choose three points and pull those up a little bit pull this down a little bit okay now I'm gonna want all of my points to align at this level here so what I'm gonna do with the points that I select that I want to align to that level so I'm just gonna use my direct selection tool and select these three points and then I can go up to align and here I have vertical align to top uh, first, before I do that, I want to look and see what's selected in my align because it can align to the artboard, align to the key anchor, and align to selection. Now I have it select to align to key anchor. Uh, the key anchor is the last point that you select, so that will be what it will align to. And I just deselect it. So let me select my points again. Okay, so this is the last one I, I selected. So now when I go to vertical align top, and all the other two points will align with that, which it did not do. So I have my points selected. Okay, one, two, three, last anchor point, vertical line top. Okay, there, now that's working. All these little glitches happen every now and then. Okay. And maybe I lost the selection on the other two points, you know, who knows? Okay, so that selects to anchor point now. Let me sh go back. Uh, select these points again. And change this to align to selection. Now we're not going to really see any difference. Because again, the key anchor point is the last anchor point. So in this case, um, it's, they both act the same. So you could choose either one when you want to use it. Just remember that the last point is where all the other points are going to align to. Now, align to selection, you'll see differences when you have objects that you're trying to align. Okay, so that is align points. Okay, we're moving right along here. Now let's get to joining points. Uh, let me just get rid of this and this. So there are three ways to join points. Uh, the first way is to select, <coughs> using the direct selection tool, to select the two open points. So right now we have open path, and so I'm going to make it a closed path and join them. So I can hit Command J, and instantly those, those are joined. Now the second way is to let me make sure these are selected is to go to object path and join and again you can see the keyboard shortcut here which was just command j so always look there so I hit that and then they're joined okay now the third way and if you don't select these two open paths and you can tell the open uh, to open points you can tell the open because um they have a white symbol there. 
and the other ones, well, when I they're white, they're open and they're not filled. So when I select them, then they're filled with the color of the of the um, guide. So the third way is to go up here to the control panel, co connect selected endpoints, and that's the third way that you can select and join your points. Now, let me show you something else. 